So a while ago, I went away on holiday and came back to find a huge mess because my freezer had failed and all the meat had gone rotten. So I came across this little device from Mocrio, and this is a monitor for freezers and fridges or any other temperatures. So Mocrio is a company that is specialized in creating these temperature and humidity sensors with an alert bait system connected to it. So having so, a look at the device, it's a really nicely designed little package. It is very, very slim. That's probably about 10 millimeters in total. And on the back, we plug in our power, plus we can plug an additional sensor into the unit itself. It's got this little blue light at the back, which I think flashes to tell you couple of messages about what's going on so if we look at the screen we've got this one really big yellow clear display we can have that set up to one of these temperatures so at the moment as you can see I've got five different temperatures being displayed here I've got my fridge um, I've got the freezer which is now out of there that's why it's gone so high uh, roof cavity um, we can just press this button and this little it's got a button on the side and a little roller or a little turning device that selects between the different options. And then we have a button at the bottom here that goes back and can select other things. So if we go back here and we load the sensors, the nice thing here is we can also create a little graph which shows us exactly what's going on. Um, that constantly updating the software on this, um, I just received another update recently. So if we go here, we've even got a calendar. I'm not quite sure what this is about here. Um, we've also got a weather setting, um, not sure what that's going to bring in, but we've also got some settings here. So we can go in here and we can adjust all sorts of things like the alarms and the display and things like that. So really impressed with this little device. Having a look at the actual sensors themselves, um, it's a nice neat little box. Now what I've really liked about this is that it's got a rechargeable battery inside here. So we just plug it in with this little USB cable, charge it up, and then we plug our sensor just in there with a little jack plug, and this device will then monitor your temperature. If you look at the sensor itself, that's the sensor, and it's clever. It's got this little flat cable that will easily slip through the door of the fridge, and this can sit in there and monitor what's going on. The other sensors that are not for fridges, etc., they don't have the plug there, and all you do is it monitors temperature and humidity on the box itself. So the device is really easy to set up. All you do is download the Mocrio app onto your phone, and then open it up, create an account, and go continue, and select the hub that you want to add. Once that's gone, you just kick down the bottom there. There's a little button you need to press, and you will then go next, and it will start searching for your device. Um, it does connect via Bluetooth originally to the device, and then what you're going to do, once it's connected to the device, it will then ask for your Wi-Fi settings. So it's going to then search for your Wi-Fi and connect directly to the Wi-Fi so that it can read the sensors. So we select our Wi-Fi setting, put in the password, and we're ready to go. So next we're going to go along and we're going to create a room. And once we've got a room, we can then go and add our individual sensors. Before you add the sensor, you just need to collect, push the little pin into the small hole in the sensor to put it into pairing mode. And then you will add each and every sensor to the system. So the app is really easy to use. We can just go along and select the device. You can see it gives you really nice graphing and you can export the stager as well if you want to use it for other things. Now, inside the actual system itself, we've got a calibration setting. We've also got a alarm setting. So if we wanted to go into the alarm, and this is really cool, we just go temperature alarm, and from here we can adjust the temperature level that we want to have on that device, and then we can have that giving an alarm, an alerting beep on the device, but also sending a message to your smartphone. So as always on this channel, I was really keen to see if this device could be connected to Home Assistant. So I found this thread on the community web page for Home Assistant, and you'll see that there are a whole number of people that have been creating code to integrate this into Home Assistant. I haven't actually played with this yet, but if you do, please let me know how it works. 
Anyway, that's all for me this week. If you'd enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon.